Many ancient cultures shared the belief that we came from the stars. For dozens of millennia, if not longer, humans have been plotting the movement of the stars, studying the heavens, constructing calendars, and erecting monuments to track the procession of the constellations and heavenly bodies across the night sky. Several constellations and stars have played an important role in ancient cultures and the belief of the celestial origins of our species. In the places where these legends emerge, we find structures that correlate with the position of the stars and constellations in the sky. And, perhaps the most prevalent of all these correlations is with the Orion constellation. The constellation of Orion is one of the most prominent and recognizable constellations in the sky, as its location on the celestial equator allows it to be seen all over the planet. Named after the Greek demigod Orion in the 8th century BC, when connected, the stars form the head, shoulders, belt, and feet of a man, and according to Greek history, Orion was a giant born with superhuman abilities. When the Greek hero was eventually slain, he was placed among the stars for eternity. The current academic paradigm has an inconvenient conundrum when it attempts to reconcile this Orion alignment that matches up precisely to various structures in ancient Egypt, central Mexico, and the American Southwest. The Orion correlation theory was put forward by Robert Baval, who noted that Mintaka, the dimmest and most westernly of the stars making up Orion's belt, was offset slightly from the others. Baval then made a connection between the layout of the three main stars in Orion's belt and the layout of the three main pyramids in the Giza Pyramid Complex. He published this idea in 1977 in the journal Discussions in Egyptology, Volume 13. The idea has been further expounded by Baval in collaboration with Adrian Gilbert in the book The Orion Mystery from 1994. The basis of this theory concerns the proposition that the relative positions of the three main ancient Egyptian pyramids on the Giza Plateau was by design, and correlated with the relative positions of the three stars in the constellation of Orion which make up Orion's belt, as these stars appeared in 10,000 BC. We know from the pyramid texts, which are among the oldest religious writings in the world, that the ancient Egyptians believed that the gods descended from the belt of Orion and from Sirius, the brightest star in the sky, in the form of human beings. This is critically important to Egyptian cosmology, as Orion was associated with the god Osiris and Sirius was associated with the goddess Isis, who together are said to have created the whole of human civilization. The three pyramids at Giza are some of the most mysterious, perplexing, and magnificent ancient structures in the world. Together they demonstrate the concept of sacred alignment as they form a precise three-dimensional map of the stars in the belt of Orion onto the ground. Their size and placement also takes into account both the visible brightness and location of the stars within Orion's belt, as the two larger pyramids are lined up perfectly in comparison to the smaller offset pyramid of Minkar. Additionally, the Giza Plateau is located at the geographical center of the Earth, which means that it is positioned exactly in the center of the Earth's landmass. The central pyramid, Khufu, is not only the last remaining of the seven wonders of the ancient world, but it is more aligned to true north than the Greenwich Observatory in London.
Professor Emilio Spedicato offers an alternative approach to the one of Baval and Gilbert. He argues that there exists a better fitting alignment with three volcanoes on Mars and that they were visible from Earth between 7000 and 700 BC. The volcano's names are Ascratius Mons, Pavanus Mons, and Arcea Mons. Since a time not now known till about 7450 BC, when the last ice age ended very rapidly, Mars was a satellite of Earth. From 9450 till about 7000 BC, Earth had a second satellite, the Moon, captured about 9450 BC from a body whose mass was about 10 times Earth mass. At about 7000 BC, mass from a Jupiter impact also impacted Mars, breaking its gravitational tie with Earth. Between 7000 BC and 700 BC, Mars moved along an elliptic orbit that saw it passing close to Earth every 54 years at a distance smaller than the Moon's distance. Due to gravitational tide effects when Mars was closest to Earth, many Martian volcanoes probably erupted. Assuming that the close passage stimulated eruptions, the volcano's fire and smoke, well visible from our planet, would have made a terrifying event for the observers. The three volcanoes were probably characterized by sacredness and replicated on Earth by three somewhat similar structures at Giza. Spedicato argues that the pyramidal form was chosen based on the observation of the likely triangular forms under the volcanic flames. Between Baval's Orion explanation and Spedicato's Mars explanation, the archive is in agreement with Baval. If we move 500 miles south of Cairo, we will find on a desolate plain in the eastern region of the Sahara Desert the mysterious archaeological site known as Naptaplea. Discovered by a team of scientists in 1974, researchers believe the stones scattered here were once part of a vast ritual center for ancient civilization that thrived from 6400 to 3400 BC, just before the rise of the Egyptians. But Naptaplea is different. It wasn't a settlement. One of the centerpieces is a circle that has been called the mini Stonehenge of the desert. For more than three decades, this circular stone structure and its intricate alignment to the stars of the Orion constellation have baffled archaeologists. The builders of Naptaplea seem to be aware of a level of physics and understanding of mathematics that allowed them to build these structures in relation to the Orion constellation. Robert Baval and astrophysicist Thomas Brophy have studied this configuration of this mysterious monument for more than 10 years. In their book Black Genesis, they suggest the stone circle is a star viewing diagram that aligns with the belt stars of Orion at the summer solstice. The calendar circle is the smaller stone arrangement and the calendar circle represents a diagram that teaches how the sky moves long term. According to mainstream scientists, radiocarbon dating indicates the site was constructed nearly 7,000 years ago. Taking this time frame into account, Brophy studied the positioning of the gates and the center stones and discovered that it was then, in 4900 BC, when three of the center stones lined up precisely with the three of the brightest stars in the constellation of Orion. Just 35 miles northeast of Mexico City in the highlands of central Mexico lie the ruins of Teotihuacan, an ancient city once inhabited by more than 150,000 people. Researchers believe the impressive structures here, including two large pyramids and a temple, were built in the 2nd century BC, and like the Egyptian pyramids of Giza, the monuments point directly to the three stars of Orion's belt. The city was one of the largest in the world at its peak, with an approximate population of 150 to 200,000 people. Although the city predated them by several centuries, it was the Aztecs who gave it the name Teotihuacan, meaning the place of the gods, as they believed that it was the place where the current world was created. The construction of Teotihuacan was attributed to the Quinemetzin giants, a race of giants who populated the world during the previous era and whose survivors were hidden in those days. 
The Quenimetsin were created during the era of the Son of Rain, and their rule ended when Quetzalcoatl made rain fire and the Quenimetsin burned to death. Like many sacred sites from the ancient world, the observatories, pyramids, and structures at Teotihuacan are constructed according to celestial alignments. The complex at Teotihuacan contains three pyramids, two larger and one smaller, boasting a similarity to the layout of the pyramids at Giza and forming another correlation to the belt of Orion. The Pyramid of the Sun is said to be aligned with the Pleiades, another constellation of great importance that is often connected to the constellation of Orion. Also, what is incredibly interesting is that the pyramids in Teotihuacan reflect the position of computer chips. The city layout resembles a computer circuit board with two large processor chips. The Pyramid of the Sun and the Moon are connected by the Long Avenue of the Dead that runs from the north to the south. There is another avenue of equal length that runs from east to west. Along the avenue there are a series of open courtyards with small platforms. The courtyards are 475.72 feet or 145 meters wide. There are numerous similarities to the pyramids of Giza in Egypt using the same mathematics as in the Giza Plateau. The base of the Great Pyramid and the one of the sun in Mexico measures 750 square feet. The Pyramid of the Sun is exactly half as tall as the Pyramid of Giza. The Hopi are a Native American tribe whose cosmology, monuments, and landscape have a deep connection with the constellation of Orion. The Hopi migrated all over the southwest and after a series of building villages and abandoning these villages, they came to these three primary mesas in northern Arizona. They call them the first, second, and third mesas. Their reservation, encompassing more than 1.5 million acres, consists of 12 villages. In his book, The Orion Zone, researcher Gary David shows that the constellation of Orion provides the template by which the Anasazi, the ancestral Hopi, determine the locations of their villages during a migration period that lasted centuries. He posits that the Hopi were spiritually mandated by a god called Masao. The natural structure of these three mesas mirrors the three stars in the belt of Orion, and it is said that this is why the Hopi chose to settle in this location. They believe this place to be the center of their universe where they can make contact with the gods. Furthermore, when connected to other Hopi monuments and landmarks around the southwest, the collective sites are said to map the entire constellation of Orion. Mintaka, a double star and the first of the trinity to peak over the eastern horizon as the constellation rises, corresponds to Arabi and Hote Villa on the third mesa. The former village is the oldest continuously inhabited community on the continent, founded in the early 12th century. About seven miles to the east, located at the base of the second mesa, Old Shungopovi was reputedly the first to be established after the Bear Clan migrated into the region around 1100 AD. Its celestial correlative is Al Nilum, the middle star of the belt. About seven miles farther east on the first mesa, the adjacent villages of Walpi, Sikomovi, and Hano, the first of which was established prior to 1300 AD, correspond to the triple star Alnatok, rising last of the three stars of the belt. Nearly due north of Arabi at a distance of just over 56 miles is Betatakan Ruin, while about four miles beyond Keat Seal Ruin. Located in Navajo National Monument, both of these spectacular cliff dwellings were built during the mid-13th century. Their sidereal counterpart is the double star Rigel, the left foot or knee of Orion. Due south of Orabi, approximately 56 miles, is Homolovi Ruins State Park, a group of four Anasazi ruins constructed between the mid-13th and early 14th centuries. These represent the variable star Betelgeuse, the right shoulder of Orion. 47 miles southwest of Arabi is the primary Sanagawa ruin at Wupatki National Monument, 
surrounded by a fewer smaller ruins. Built in the early 12th century, their celestial counterpart is Bellatrix, a slightly variable star forming the left shoulder of Orion. About 50 miles northeast of Walpi is the mouth of Canyon de Celli, where another national monument is located. In this and its side canyon del Murto, a number of Anasazi ruins dating from the mid-11th century are found. Saf, the triple star forming the right foot or knee of Orion, corresponds to these ruins, primarily White House, Antelope House, and Mummy Cave. If we conceptualize Orion not as the rectangle but as a polygon of seven sides, more specifically an hourglass, appended to another triangle whose base rests on the constellation's shoulders, we see the relative proportions of the terrestrial Orion coincide with amazing accuracy. The apparent distances between the stars as we see them in the constellation, and the distances between these major Hopi village or Anazazi ruin sites are close enough to suggest that something more than mere coincidence is at work here. When analyzing the Egyptian, Mesoamerican, and Hopi cultures, what we find is the same story told in different ways and different languages across different ages. It is a story of visitors from the stars that came to Earth and essentially jump-started human civilization. What is incredible is not only that a great many of these stories, legends, and tales focus on the constellation of Orion, but evidence of such beliefs is found in some of the most impressive ancient structures around the world.